yeah, my face a little dark, but hey, that's where it goes sometimes. Yeah, I'm still talking about this Rotten Tomato thing. I'm still um, pissed off about Iron Fist. But, um, you know, what kills me about Rotten Tomatoes, that they really suck as critics, because they say Venom gave it a 31%. That's pretty. That's not a good rating. But if you look at the um, Venom wiki page, you can see it telling you that it broke box office records. You know, it broke records and stuff like that. And it made over three hundred million dollars already. Still going. Now, if a mo movie doesn't base pretty much suck to Rotten Tomatoes st standards, the movie wouldn't make that much. It would actually bomb in the box office, but it didn't bomb in the box office. Um, just like when he um, gave Iron Fist a 17% um, a rating, but the audience loved it and gave it an 84% rating. So that lets you know that Rotten Tomatoes is not really the critics that you should be actually paying any attention to. It actually should be the, actually the audience, the fans, the people that watch those type of shows. Not no Rotten Tomatoes that they don't watch that, and mostly they probably even watch is drama that's probably what they um i say they um expertise is in it's like drama type movies that type of stuff because they rated suicide squad a low rating uh, but they about to get ready to do another suicide squad um james gunn matter of fact is actually going to be writing it and directing the movie and david ballista the one played drax and Goddess of the Galaxy, he's gonna be in um, Suicide Squad. And I believe Will Smith will repra repraise his roles, or repri yeah, pretty much repraise his role. So, if people that show you that people that shows you that you shouldn't even listen to Rotten Tomatoes because they don't know what the hell they are talking about. Because how can someone supposed to be everybody supposed to be well respected? Um, Rotten Tomatoes and he, they're supposed to be well respected in the um, Hollywood world movie world but yet they make such stupid nonsense ratings about a movie they have no idea what it's about and then they actually want to judge it like they're judging it properly and Rotten Tomatoes you have no idea what you're talking about how can you judge a movie that you how can, how can you judge okay Iron Fist how can you judge Iron Fist and you never knew anything about Iron Fist until it became a TV show. That means that you never read a comic, but you want to judge it like you know what you're talking about. I saw one dude, I don't know who he was, but he was talking crap about Iron Fist. But you can tell that he had no idea what the hell he was talking about. But a lot of people listen to his idiocy to actually figure out if he's telling the truth, if he's good. No, that don't make you a critic. That don't make you um, a credit to certain things. If you haven't seen any type of movie, you sh you know, uh, and you got to be, and they hire you to be a critic, but you never had saw the movie or do anything about you, know anything about it ever exists, what kind of like comic book or book really, you know what I'm saying? And But you're going to sit right there and watch the movie and, and sit right there and think you know what you're talking about, saying it's not worth watching. You better, you better go ahead with that. You know what I'm saying? Better go ahead with that. You you judging things unfairly. I know you look at techniques and all that stuff like that, but let me tell you something. Techniques, it's not all what people go enjoy in the movie. You know what I'm saying? People go enjoy the movie, see it going to live up to the character or not. You can't say that you never read it. Because I had one person, I read a comment. It was so stupid. This is how you know people is stupid. That's why a lot of good shows get ruined because people is so stupid. Yeah, I kind of like phase it out of that one. But hey, check this out. This is with Captain Marvel, right? A person said, I never read a comic book in my life, but I'm watching Captain Marvel. It should be a male and the movie's going to fail. That's what I'm talking about, people. That type of person right there need to shut the hell up and don't ever say anything again because they don't know what they're talking about. And those are the type of critics that kill so many shows because they listen to other stupid people like that and they judge a stupid opinion and then 
cancel the show, the show get canceled. Like I said in my last rant video about Iron Fist, a lot of people listen to um, Rotten Tomatoes, all these stupid opinion, critics' opinions, and because they had no idea what the hell they was talking about, and people didn't watch it, or people because people was bashing it, and then when they watched, it, they was bashing because they wasn't watching it for themselves; they was watching it for somebody else's opinion that they let allowed in them. And so, um, and basically, when people watch second season of Iron Fist, they was loving it. They were loving it. They were waiting for second, third season. Saw that on comment, com comments all over the place. Oh, I love season two. Hope season three come out. I can't wait for it to come out. Oh, um, and people actually watch season two because a lot of people giving great, you know, good things and stuff like that. Even with the critic, didn't give it a good rating. They went back and watched one, season one, and they loved it. They said season one is good and season two is great. They said season two is better than season one. That's what you want in a show. The progress of being better than the next season. But it's too late because people don't let the uh, Rotten Tomatoes judge, judge incorrectly about something. They listen to their word and mess up a great show. Well, that's all I got to say. It's getting too dark out here. You can barely see me. I'm out. Later. Peace.